Larry does YouTube. Larry does YouTube. Yay! Hello, I just got home from Indonesian Independence Day celebration. Mm. It's in London. Well, like, North London. And, yeah, some of you might have noticed what I'm wearing. It's called Batik, for those who don't know. It's from Indonesia, from Java, even though I'm not Japanese, but this is like the national clothing for people in Indonesia. Well, I left home at mm, half past nine, whereas I had to be there at 10 a.m. Well, the thing is, last night I slept at 4 a.m. and I woke up at 8 a.m. and then I had to eat my breakfast on the stove. Long story. I took the bus to get there. Um, it wasn't a bad journey, it took me like 45 minutes. But then I had to walk for 11 minutes. Yeah, um, wasn't that bad. The thing with me, I find it awkward to be somewhere crowded by myself. So I decided to meet up with my friend first. So he took the bus from King's Cross or Houston to East Finchley, which is like on the other side of where my bus stop is. So I walk all the way, went past the embassy or whatever they call it and I walk for 30 minutes in total just because of my awkwardness calling my friend I don't know where he is oh, sh that was loud Yes, Ludi Mana. Ludi Mana. Cepat kali ini udah jam berapa? Gue teh, ha? Gue udah di kayak dekat tempatnya gitu. As I was walking to East Finchley, there was an Indonesian lady, and she asked where I was going. But then, instead of using English. She used Indonesian and she said Mokumanamas. So we went in and we went to the like main area and we saw the flag was already up there and we saw like these kids who were responsible to put up the flag. So and then they were dismissed that like they were in in a line and they were dismissed by like the leader I just found it really funny because I don't know it's so amazing the first thing I ate was nasi kuning with tempeh and bakwan and that was it but I felt a bit full like I don't know it was quite a lot for me I guess and then we went for a second round because we love free food so for the second round, we had nasi rawon, which is like soup with this thin noodle and beef. And then we just, it's just amazing, like, if you look at it, look at how amazing it looks. Oh, and there was also this cake. It's like a birthday cake from this Chinese store in Hyde Park. I tasted it. The icing was really, really good. So right after the second round, Ias had to leave because he had to go to Kent with his dad to do some stuff. I just found it hard because I am not that good at talking to new people, like to someone in a crowded area, because I'm awkward like that. So then I decided to watch the performances and there, there was this white kid not trying to be racist but he is white and I just can't find a better word to describe him well I saw this Japanese writing on his bag I knew it was Japanese because last year I spent like three months learning by myself like learning Japanese by myself 
I, and then hiragana, katakana, and konnichiwa, watashi wa reri desu, uh, Indonesia, Indonesia ni karaya desu, yoroshiku negashimasu, all of that, and then, I can't remember almost every single katakana. And I knew it was katakana because it was not hiragana, which I still remember. So I went up to him and was like, hey, excuse me. Um, what does that thing say on your bag? It's Japanese katakana, isn't it? Then he gladly replied, it's Suni something. I don't even remember what he said. So, so right after that, we spoke. Like, we just kept on talking about stuff, and then he told me like he's Italian, but then his granddad is from West Sumatra, which is in the part of Indonesia as well. So it's like, yeah, cool. Do you know any Indonesian then? Like, I mean, do you know any Bahasa? He was like. No, I don't. But then his dad knows a bit of Bahasa, so I think that should be good. Then we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I gave him 2000 rupiah, which is like, I don't know, it's less than 50p, to be honest. But in Indonesia, you, you can buy a bottle of water with 2000 rupiah. So that is really good, isn't it? They had this thing called raffle in, at the event. And I could buy tickets, like one pound each. So it was a bit hard for me because I'm a student and I have to wait until the end of the month for my mom to send me money. So I had to think whether I was, if I like, if I should buy it or not. So then I decided to buy two tickets, and one was thirty-seven and one was thirty-six, and the color was red. So as I was talking to him. The MC said, Merah muda tiga puluh tujuh. Sekali lagi, merah muda tiga puluh tujuh. I did not notice until the second call, so I was like, that's my number. So I went onto the stage, and guess what I got? A Panasonic microwave oven. NNE281B. Can you imagine a sixth form student who is going to do his second year of A levels alone in the UK? A microwave oven. So, what should I do? At the end of the day, they were drawing for. I think, yeah, it was iPod 30 gigabytes, and the guy was like, red, three, six, six. Yeah! What the hell? Three, six, six, and my numbers, my number was 36. Only if, I, if he had stopped at the right after the first six that iPod would be mine well I guess all of the people who came to the celebration enjoyed the celebration because there are these two kids I don't think they have Indonesian blood at all but they were dancing to Dongduk music so did their mum <laughs> Well then, that's how I celebrated Indonesian Independence Day in the UK. How did you celebrate it in your country? Leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. See you in the next video. Where does YouTube